This hack tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're diving into the doodads that make up 802.11 so great. Can you tell it's a Friday? I'm a little sparky. Anyway, we're going to go more specifically into all the fun little things about Wi-Fi frames. Now, if you're not familiar with a frame, it's simply a data packet. For example, an Ethernet frame is just a bunch of data sent from a network card consisting of a header, a payload, and an integrity check of some sort at the end. The payload itself it just could be any kind of protocol packet. It's typically an IP packet, but it could be anything, right? The payload is encapsulated or enclosed within other elements that make up the frame overhead. For example, an 802.3 Ethernet frame will begin with a source and destination MAC address, as well as the Ether type, which is basically a field that kind of defines what protocol is inside. So think of it as an envelope for a letter, and the frame then at the end will issue a frame check sequence, which is some sort of, it's kind of like a special checksum of the frame, so that the receiving party can use that to verify the integrity of the frame as a whole. So if, say, something happens like, I don't know, it just gets borked, there's some interference on the line or something, it, it can go ahead and ask the sender to go ahead and send that again, right? Well, for the most part, 802.11 frames or Wi-Fi frames work very similarly and it's with careful use or abuse of these frames that we're able to accomplish some pretty nifty stuff. So as always, let's go ahead and start with the terms. Now, without getting into every single octet or bit within the frame, suffice it to say that Wi-Fi frames are made up of the same kind of stuff as Ethernet frames. They contain source and destination MAC addresses. They also contain control fields for specifying like what version of the 802.11 protocol they're using. And again, the payload could be anything like the PCP or UDP packets that make up this here video. And then finally, a frame check sequence to verify the integrity. And there are three major kinds of frames in 802.11. We have management frames, control frames, and data frames. So let's go ahead and begin with the management frames. There are four basic types of management frames. There are beacons, probes, associations, and authentications. Now a beacon frame is one that an access point or a base station just periodically sends out, announcing its presence to the world, saying things like, here's my SSID or service set identifier. We're going to be getting into these frames a lot more in detail very soon. So suffice it to say, those are, are that for now. Now the next type of frame is a probe. And probes come in two flavors. They, they come in requests and responses. Now probe request is one that usually comes from a client. Think of it as like your laptop or your phone calling out for an access point, asking whether it's within range or you know trying to get details from an access point that it just heard a beacon from. Now the probe request is typically followed up by a probe response. And that's where the access point will send one of these, where here's a probe request. It'll say things that include information that they'll need to establish a, uh, a lasting and meaningful relationship. Things like, I don't know, what kind of data rates they support. The next type of management frame is association. And, and these come in three flavors. Association requests, responses, and disassociation. Now, association requests are simply that. It's a frame sent from one station to another, asking if they can be friends, saying, hey, among other things, can you allocate some memory for me? And let's synchronize our watches so we can more effectively communicate. And an association frame is typically followed by an association response, which will either be acceptance or, sure, let's be friends, or a rejection, like, the off, you now when two stations want to say peace out y'all, they just send a disassociation frame. And it's really a polite way for them to do it as it allows the other party to unallocate memory and other such cleanup functions. Now the final kind of management frame is authentication and that comes in two flavors, authentication and deauthentication. Now the aptly named authentication or auth frame begins the process of authentication. Who would imagine, right? And in this case, uh, in the case of like an open access point, there's really only two authentication frames that are exchanged. One asking for access, and then the other one saying, come on in, partner. And in the case of the pathetically weak WEP authentication standard, the client will send like an auth frame asking for access, and then the station will respond to the auth frame with another of its own with kind of like a bit of text, and this is what's known as a challenge. 
And then finally, the client will then take that bit of text, encrypt it with the WEP key and send it back. And if everything matches, hey, they're all best friends, right? Now, the authentication process for WPA and WPA2 is similar, but also a lot more complex. And we're going to be getting into that later on in the series in a lot more detail. But that brings us to the last management frame, deauthentication or deauth. And a deauth frame is one sent from one station to another to basically terminate secure sessions. Now, the stations may still be associated to one another, but they've effectively stopped speaking to one another. They're all like, talk to the hand. Anyway, now in just a bit, we're going to cover the last two types of frames. But first, we're going to take a quick break and then find out about this week's giveaway. With more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet. For one low monthly price, Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming to their TVs and computers. With Netflix, you can cancel anytime. Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices streaming TV episodes and movies like Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. Find movies that you love easily. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. You can cancel anytime. Watch as many movies as you want for one low monthly price. Get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you. Now, as we just discussed, there are three major types of 802.11 frames, management, control, and data. And while we've defined management, let's go ahead and talk about the last two. Now, control frames come in three varieties, request to send, clear to send, and acknowledgement frames. A request to send or an RTS frame is the name would imply is kind of a short little frame that just sends one, one station to another asking if it can send some data frames and it's really the first part of a two-way handshake that makes up the beginning of any data transmission. The second part of course to that handshake being the clear to send or CTS frame. If the station isn't busy doing other things, it'll go ahead and issue one of these in response to an RTS. And the neat thing about this is that it'll actually specify an amount of time for which the two stations can communicate. Now the other stations nearby are going to observe this data and they're going to wait patiently. And this minimizes interruptions that would otherwise cause interference, resulting in I don't know, them having to resend packets and basically overall degradation of the network performance. Now, if Finally, after the RTS and CTS handshake are taking place and the, the data has been transmitted, uh, there is typically being sent an acknowledgement or ACK frame. And this lets the sender know that everything was received in good condition. If the receiver checks the integrity of the data frames and something's borked, it's just simply not going to send an ACK frame, causing the sender to retry. And the last frame, as we've just mentioned, is the data frame, containing anything you want inside. And these guys are the workhorses of Wi-Fi, but of course, they couldn't even exist without the diligent work of the management and control frames. So, good job, everybody. Let's all have some cake. Alrighty, it's time for the giveaway. Last week, I asked what draft started as a study group of IEEE 802.11 in 2003 to define how wireless devices can create static or ad hoc mesh networks with each other. And the answer is 802.11s. This week, what I'd like to know is what numbered flag in AirPlay NG will send a deauthentication frame. Answer in the comments and be randomly selected to receive one of the radios that I use right here on HackTip. And as always, we value your feedback and your suggestions. If you have a tip to share with us, go ahead and email tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. Sin, 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 sin. Ow. Ow. <laughs>